Welcome to the Turton Geography video channel. Investigating people and place through pattern and process. This video is part of the Geography Through Diagram series and this one looks at coastal features and we're looking at the features on the coast that are caused or created by longshore drift and deposition. So let's remember the beaches are the most common form of deposition found on the coastline and longshore drift moves sediment along the coast in a zigzag motion in the direction of the prevailing wind. In that process, sediment is rounded and made smaller as it moves along the coast. So in this video, we're gonna look at four different features, spits, tombolos, bay bars, and cuspate forelands. There's some examples of these around Britain. Lots of spits. These include Hurst Castle on the Solent in Hampshire, Blakeney Point in North Norfolk, and the Point of Air in the North Wales coast. Tombolos, the classic one is Llandudno in North Wales, or Chessel Beach in Dorset. Bay bars, excellent example of a bay bar, Slapton Sands in Devon, and Britain's largest cuspate fallen, Dungeness on the Kent coast. Just to remind ourselves that as long as, as well as longshore drift, these features require lots of sediment and an irregular coastline, such as river mouths. So in this diagram, I'm gonna draw a box. We're gonna divide it into four. I suggest you do this full size on a piece of A4. First diagram I'm gonna draw is a spit. So we're drawing a river mouth here. I'm going to show the direction of longshore drift with an arrow and show how the spit extends out into the river mouth. The sediment is deposited on the river bed and then extends outwards. So we can see the direction of longshore drift in our label. I'm going to show here the river flow that stops the formation of a bay bar if it went right across the river mouth. Just mark the salt marsh behind there and obviously it's a spit so we're going to label the spit as well just to make it really clear let's shade in the land to distinguish it from the sea if you're using colors suggest green would be a good idea here that's our coastal spit now the next diagram is a tombolo a tombolo is where an island is connected to the mainland by a spit. So here we've got our longshore drift creating material and moving material along the coast and it connects this island to the mainland. As they're off our island we've got sediment can either come from longshore drift or it can come from river mouths such as at Hlandudno. Don't forget Let's just shade in the land to make it nice and clear. And we're going to add a title as well to remind us that we're looking at a tombolo. Underline it, you know it's a title. Third diagram we're going to look at is a bay bar. Here is a small bay, maybe some small, small rivers, not big enough to wash sediment away. And the longshore drift carries sediment across the entrance of the bay, leaving a bay bar, which is behind, uh, there is a lagoon, a sheltered piece of water. Give it a title, underline it. The final feature is a cuspate foreland. This occurs where longshore drift operates in two directions. So there's a change in the coastline and it allows sediment to be built up against each other coming from different directions. As a result, the foreland extends out into the sea as it does at Dungeness. So 
let's label Longshore Drift and make sure we, we're labeling that the foreland is extended out into the sea. So those are our four features of coastal deposition. We've got our spits, we've got our tombolos, a bay bar and a cuspate foreland. Give the whole diagram a title, underline it, and there we have spit, tombolo, bay bar, cuspate foreland. Features of deposition on a coastline. Now, you get to do the best bit. Once you've drawn it, you can colour it in. My suggestion is you use green for the land, blue for the sea, and maybe a yellow or brown or both for the beach and the depositional features. <laughs> 